Oh, all I wanted was some ferrite dust. Good evening, my name is Jack Stone and you are watching Experience Bar, the home of video game inspired cocktails. Because every galactic adventurer deserves something to unwind at the end of a solar cycle. Today we're going to be making a drink called the Galaxy Waits, inspired by No Man's Sky. Now, I want to start by kind of addressing the elephant in the room. No Man's Sky, when it first launched, was an absolute train wreck. There were bugs and supposedly missing features, and the community behind it basically felt betrayed, if that's too strong a word. But the thing is, is that normally developers, when that kind of thing happens, they just give up and leave. They abandon the game. Not so Hello Games. I have to commend them. Hello Games stuck it out, and now, a few years after the initial release, no Man's Sky is far closer to what was actually originally promised. It was this kind of transformation that I had in mind when I created this drink. It features this uh, color changing ingredient that will uh, introduce a new look to the cocktail every time you take a sip. And it's based upon a mojito, so anyone who's a fan of mint and freshness, and uh, with this case it's a little bit of a, a lychee sweetness as well, anyone who's a fan of a mojito will be a fan of this. Let's get started. So we are going to start off by getting a mixing glass. Don't use the glass half of your cocktail shaker because we're going to be using that in a moment. And you're going to grab eight to ten mint leaves. I'm not going to count these out. Just grab a handful-ish, but eight to ten is generally a good amount. And grab one ounce of white rum, followed by one ounce of lychee liqueur. If you can't get lychee liqueur, feel free to use lychee juice as well. It'll just be a slightly more rounded taste rather than the uh, lychee liqueur. And we are going to muddle this. Oh, no we're not. There's something I've forgotten. We need to add two teaspoons of just regular old sugar. Not too much, not too little, just a little bit. And muddle, muddle. Now the key to a good muddle with leaves, with fruit you would just press them down and try and squeeze the juice out. With this one you push down and twist, push down and twist, push down and twist. You still don't want to be too rough with this. All you're trying to do is get the mint oils out. You don't want lots of little broken bits of uh, mint leaf in your drink, at least not for this one. Once you're happy with that, take your shaker half filled with ice or another mixing glass and simply sieve out or strain if you've got a strainer that is suitable. And we're going to finish this off with the lime juice, which is an ounce. And we are going to just stir this briefly to chill it down. Cool, so at this point, you've got most of your drink already done. Now comes the slightly messy, but still pretty fun part. What you're going to need to do is get a Collins glass or a tall glass filled with regular ice. This is the special ingredient. This is butterfly pea blossom tea ice, and it's been crushed. This is why I want an ice crusher. You can get this stuff at specialty tea stores um, and all you need to do is just grab them and uh, boil them for 10 minutes as you would like a normal tea but for a little bit longer and then freeze them, crush them, that's it. Now you'll see that these are a beautiful bright blue but that isn't the cool thing about this particular ingredient and like I said this is going to be a tad messy. The cool thing about this ingredient is when it's exposed to acid, it changes color. If you've watched our Battlefield Medic a cocktail before, the Medic Syringe, it is very similar, except this one is a little bit more dramatic. So once you're at this point where it's mostly, it's about two thirds to three quarters of the way up normal ice, and the top third-ish is this blue ice, what you do, is you just take your drink, which is nice and cool, so it shouldn't melt the ice instantly. And you just pour it on top. Now, you see how that is turning this pinkish color? That is not the lychee liqueur. That is the butterfly PT melting into the drink and reacting with the acid and turning pink. Every time you take a sip of this drink, it will change color. It will slowly turn from a bright blue to a lovely bright pink instead. Now with this one, I haven't got quite enough room to add any soda water, but if you've got a, a taller or a thicker glass, feel free. Like a, much like a mojito. Simply garnish it with a straw. Sorry, it's a plastic straw. 
fuck dolphins, I guess. And there you have it. The galaxy awaits. Cheers. Ooh, yeah. So this drink, it's definitely got that very uh, upfront freshness and uh, coolness of the mojito, but it's it's offset by the the, uh, the sweetness of the lychee. And that lime really comes through as well, the astringency. The white rum gives it that, that baseline, but overall it, it's, it's kind of like a, a slightly sweeter mojito that is perfect for, say, a hot day in summer or when you're stuck inside uh, on a scorched planet during a firestorm, for example. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I've been Jack Stone, this has been Experience Bar. That is The Galaxy Awaits. Please uh, give us a like and a subscribe to Silly Goose for more geek and gaming content, uh, including Experience Bar and uh, gaming-related cocktails. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.